Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Church Online um, on Sunday, the 14th of June. Um, just a few notices for today. After the announcement this week that um, places of worship will be open for private prayer, uh, we've had quite a lot of discussion. I've been praying and thinking about it. Um, and we've discovered that really there isn't in our parishes much of a demand for us to open our churches for private prayer. Um, our churches aren't normally open for private prayer. Um, so there isn't a huge demand there. If lots of people had said to me, oh, please, will you open the church? I would have done it. Um, but there isn't that demand. So we've decided the amount of effort that we would have to go to, uh, we'd have to do risk assessments, we'd have to um, arrange a special rotor for manning the church and all those sorts of things. Uh, we decided that that, that wouldn't uh, be necessary really at the moment. Um, it wouldn't be the best use of our time. Um, so I hope you understand that decision. Um, if you feel that you really would like to go and spend some time in a church building to pray, um, I would recommend maybe going over to Chesterfield to the Crooked Spire. I know that they're opening from 10 a.m. to 12 noon. Um, from Monday to Saturday so there's quite a lot of choice there as well um, do double check before you go obviously um, and there will be restrictions as to what you can and can't do in there when you go to church um, but if you really do want to go for private prayer I'd recommend nipping over to the Crooked Spire um, so that's about church openings obviously um, the the advice is coming out daily at the moment um, from the government about reopening the churches. So one of the things we're going to be doing, because we think we will be able to perhaps go back in um, in July, but we don't really know quite what that will entail. But just to prepare for that, um, because we've not been in our churches for three months, they are getting a bit dirty. So we're going to go in and try and clean them up a little bit so that we're a bit more ready when we do return to worship. If you would like to help with the cleaning, um, if you're at Clown and you would like to help clean Clown Church, if you could get in touch with Hilary Wignall, and if you would like to help clean Balbra Church, if you could get in touch with Sylvia Bradbury, um, if you're not sure of their phone numbers, if you get in touch with me and I'll let you have their numbers. But please don't, if you if you do have a church key, don't just turn up and do something. Um, we need to manage this very carefully. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to help with cleaning um, at Clown, get in touch with Hillary. If you'd like to help with cleaning at Balbra, get in touch with Sylvia and we'll arrange sort of a, a, a rotor so that we know who's going to be cleaning what and when. So thank you for that. Thank you for volunteering for that. It's a real help. Um, you'll be aware we've been praying for Gordon Bradbury, Sylvia's husband, um, because he had a pacemaker fitted last week. Now, Gordon is an absolute star and has been looking after the exterior of our church uh, at Balbra for many, many years. And he keeps it to such a really high standard. It always looks absolutely immaculate. Um, and obviously, because he's had this pacemaker, he's needing to cut back a little bit on some of the jobs that he's been doing. He's going to continue to look after our burial of ashes plot, which he does really well for us. And he's happy to keep doing that. But he has been doing an awful lot of the gardening, cutting back the hedge, um, just looking after that front garden bit and the tubs around the front of church. Um, and he's stepping back from doing that now, which is absolutely sensible and I'd like to say a public thank you to Gordon for all that he's done for our church over the years and continues to do so thank you Gordon and we wish you um, get well soon and um, thank you for everything that you've done on the garden um, so if you're quite into gardening maybe um, during lockdown you've got a bit more into it than before um, and maybe would be interested in helping out um, with the gardening jobs at Balbra Church. If you could let me know, um, I thought it might be quite nice to put a little team together so that there's a group of people that maybe look after different aspects of the gardens. Um, so if that might be you, if you could get in touch with me and then we can see if, if, um, if a little group of people might like to start looking after that. So let me know if you would like to help with gardening at Balbra Church. It doesn't matter where you live, um, as long as you're willing to travel over to Balbra to do it, um, you're very welcome to take part. But do let me know uh, what you think about that. So, um, right, next messages, next notices. 
So next Sunday, oh, it's, I'm feeling a bit sad because um, last year we had the most fantastic mining festival in Clown for our Patronal Festival and we had great plans to have a festival of Clown this Saturday, this coming Saturday, um, along with our Patronal Festival service on the Sunday and of course those plans have been foiled by the coronavirus. Um, so obviously we're not going to be having a festival um i hope we'll have a really brilliant one next year um but we will be having our patronal festival service online on sunday um the archdeacon carol coslett was going to come and preach at that service and preside as well um and obviously she's not able to do that because we're not having the service in church but she is still preaching she's recorded a sermon for us for our special service um, and something I thought would be fun to do, some of you will remember, it feels like a long time ago, on Palm Sunday, I created a mosaic video of lots of different people's pictures of their hands. Um, and I decided I'd like to create a similar mosaic um, for the Patronal Festival to, to include in the service. Um, this time, it doesn't have to be a picture of your hand. It can just be a picture of yourself, picture of a pet, picture of clown, um, I don't mind what it is and you can send me as many as you like because the more pictures there are the better the mosaic comes out. I need at least 50 pictures to make it work. Um, so if you could either just comment on Facebook um, or send me send me via WhatsApp or whatever. If you just send me a photograph uh, maybe of yourself and your family um, I will include it in that video. So please keep sending those through to me. Um, as I said before I need at least 50 for it to work so um hopefully you'll all be able to do that if you're if you've got smartphones and things you can send me a picture uh that would be brilliant um so i think that would be quite nice to have something that's just a little bit different in the service the other thing i would like is um those of you that have started to get used to sending me recordings i just wondered if if you've sent me a recording before um if you wouldn't mind recording yourself reading the nicene creed which is what will be in the service today actually but if you could read the Nicene Creed and record yourself reading it um, and send it to me on, on WhatsApp or, or f maybe on Facebook, but WhatsApp's better. Um, if you could send it to me, um, I'm going to try and create a version of the Creed with all of our different voices saying it together, if I can get it to work. Um, again, I, I think that might just add something um, to the feeling of being in church all together um, next Sunday. Um, so two things, if you could send me any photos you've got for inclusion in the mosaic, uh, they won't be on screen for very long because they kind of zoom in and out. So don't panic that you'll be suddenly plastered all over the internet. It'll be quite hard to find you probably. Um, so send me photos and if you could send me a recording of yourself reading the whole of the Nicene Creed, that would be brilliant as well. Um, thank you very much. So that's Patronal Festival uh, next Sunday. Um, I'm very excited to be launching our new service um, over the telephone this Thursday. Um, I've mentioned it previously. Um, last week I preached at my friend's phone church um, up at Wensleydale. Somebody said, did you go all the way to Wensleydale? And I said, well, no, because it was on the phone. <laughs> I was here in Balborough. Um, but they were all in Wensleydale on their telephones. Um, and it was a really lovely service because you get to hear each other's voices and there's something really special about that. Um, and so what I've decided is I think probably once we're allowed back into church for services, I think it will be quite a long time before I can do my Thursday morning Eucharists as usual because we use the Lady Chapel, the much smaller chapels in our churches for that service. Um, and of course, with social distancing measures, we can't do that. So for, I think we might even keep this as a permanent thing if it's popular. Um, but so I decided that we would do phone church at the same time as we would normally have our Thursday morning Eucharist. So um, for Clown, it will be 9.15 and for Barbara, it will be 10.15. I will be on the line from 9am and from 10am and all you need to do is you need to ring this number so that 0333 number um, that means it's either a local cost call or it's included in your phone minutes if you've got a bundled free minutes you can phone from a mobile or a landline 
if you have free minutes on your mobile, ring from your mobile and it won't cost you anything at all. Uh, but it works with landlines. And that's one of the reasons why I've done this, because I'm aware that there's people that don't have um, either mobile phones or access to the Internet. So this is really to try and be as inclusive as possible. So you ring the 033 number first. Then you hear a woman's voice saying, welcome to YPay, which is the system that we're using. It's a telephone conferencing system and it's called YPay. So you hear a woman's voice saying, welcome to YPay. We're brilliant. She says some marketing message about YPay. And then she'll say, please enter your conference room number followed by the hash key. So then you type in the room number that begins 510 here. Type that in, then press hash. And then she'll say, please enter your guest pin and you type in the four digit pin code followed by the hash key again. And once you've done that, you're in the room. Um, if you're the first one on the line, it'll just say you're the first one here. Um, please wait for other people to arrive and then it will play some music. When somebody else arrives, you'll hear a little, little ping sound and that will mean someone else has come into the room. Um, it's, it's reasonably, once you get in, it's quite straightforward. Um, then we'll all say hello to each other um, and then I'll start the service as normal. Now I've posted out this week um, copies of the Upper Room newsletter and along with that in there are instructions about Phone Church. Oops, this way, there we go. See, there's all the instructions about Phone Church and I've also enclosed in that thing um, the actual order of service and on the front is the phone number and all the details of how to sign up. And that's actually the actual order of service. So it's a communion service over the telephone. Um, and you just join in as, as normal. Again, um, if you know how to put your phone on speakerphone or hands-free, um, if you do that, then you can sit with your order of service with your phone there and you can just join in as and when. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping this will be a really nice way of gathering for worship and it will be diff a bit different from our online worship, um, but be particularly good for those who um, maybe um, have poor eyesight um, or um, just physically can't get to church. Um, so we'll, we'll give it a go. If you would like to try out, just you can try beforehand, before Thursday, just have a go at ringing the number and getting through. And you'll get through to the point where it says you're the only person here. And then at least you'll know that it works. Um, and if we can all help each other get onto it, because I know some of the more elderly members of our congregation may struggle a little bit with the typing in of the room number and the pin code. But I'm hoping, you know, with trial and error, we'll get there in the end. It's exactly the same numbers every week. And the room number and the guest pin are exactly the same for everybody. So nothing's going to change. This is it now. These are the numbers. So I'm hoping it's going to work really well. Um, so do, even if you don't normally come to church on a Thursday, um, it would be really nice if, if a number of you um, could come along this Thursday so that we can kind of test it out and, and, and see if we can get it to work properly. Um, and I'm hoping that will become something that we will do on a regular basis um, for our churches. As I say, we may keep it forever. We, it may be just one of the things that we offer um, as our worship um, to be as inclusive as we can, because there are quite a high number of people who are members of our congregation who can't get to church because of um, illness or um, frailty. Um, so it would be really nice to sort of include them all in our regular weekly worship. And those that are in care homes as well, hopefully, we might be able to help them to get onto the line as well. Um, so do look out for Phone Church. Give it a practice run beforehand. Um, and then on Thursday, I'll be on the line from 9am and then on the line from 10am. Um, and we'll give it a try and see how we get on. So that's Phone Church. If you would like this to be posted out to somebody and I haven't got the address if you send me their address I'll, I'll send it out to them um, so just let me know if there's somebody that you think would really value uh, joining in and I, they haven't received this yet I'm trying to send it out to as many people as I can um, so if there's somebody that you think oh actually they could do with that just let me know what their address is and I'll post it out quite happily okay 
Um, usual notice about the parish giving scheme. Massive thank you. Um, I think I know at least at Balbra we've had four new sign ups to the parish giving scheme. So I'm absolutely really grateful um, to those of you that have done that. Um, please do give the phone number a ring. I know that it's been really busy um, and sometimes hard to get through. Um, but do keep persevering if you can, because it will really help us to have regular income. Um, and it, it means once you've set it up, you don't have to worry about it. And that's the best thing about this thing. Um, if you'd rather send me a check, um, do just post a check to me. If it's for Bulbra, it's St. James Church Bulbra. And if it's for Clown, it's Clown PCC. It's a bit confusing because they're quite different. So, yeah, if you'd like to send me a check, that would be brilliant as well for church. We're going to meet again at 11 o'clock um, on Zoom um, for coffee and a bit of a chat and a catch up with each other. Um, so to find the link, uh, go to bcjj.org.uk forward slash Zoom um, and you'll find the link there. Click on it and uh, we can gather together for tea and coffee. So hopefully I shall see you for tea and coffee fairly soon. Um, and now if you'd like to head over to either YouTube or our church website, uh, you can watch today's service. Today's service, um, our preacher is Malcolm Pyatt. He's our ordinand, which is a trainee priest. He's been on placement with us since Advent. Um, and he's probably had the most eventful placement he could possibly have had, uh, given what's happened while he's been with us. Uh, but he's been such a fantastic student and he's going to um, be licensed and then later on ordained um, to St. Michael and All Angels Brimington, so his last Sunday with us will be the 28th of June. And on the 28th of June, I shall be interviewing Malcolm for the online service. Uh, so you'll get to hear a bit more about his story on the 28th of June so that we can give him a bit of a send off. Um, so he's our preacher today. This is the last time that he's going to be preaching for us on this placement. I'm sure that he will come back and visit us in the future. Um, but he's preaching for us today. So thank you, Malcolm, uh, for your sermon today. Great. I shall see you all hopefully on Zoom later on or maybe later in the week over the phone on Phone Church. Take care, everyone, and have a good week. Bye.